Hey, hi there, my lovelies. Um, I thought I'd jump on here uh, quickly, not to do too long a, a rant today. Um, just purely based on what I've just seen on the news and uh, everything that's been going on with our joke of a government at the moment. Uh, first of all, hope you're all well. Hope everyone's kind of keeping on doing what they keep need to keep doing and that this video finds everyone well. Uh, where do I fucking start with these clowns? Um, we kind of started it off with Boris and people voting him in thinking, oh, oh he's such a funny man and that. Not realising that you're entrusting an absolute buffoon to run the country. Um, and then, you know, things take their toll. He decides he doesn't want to do the job anymore. Um, we go through all this fucking pantomime of them picking a new leader. Um, eventually, the person who gets voted in, Liz Truss, comes in and it's apparent that actual MPs didn't vote for her. It was just members of the Conservative Party that voted her in. Uh, and she gets off to probably one of the worst fucking starts that a Prime Minister's probably got off to in their career. Uh, getting an absolute idiot of a man to become Chancellor of the Exchequer. And they come out with all these ridiculous uh, ways and means that they're going to solve everything which causes a complete wobble from the finance people and saying you can't do this because there isn't the, the, the money in place to be able to do this and blah 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 so everyone kind of gets their head around that things are going to be changing and then everyone has to get their head around the fact that no everything that was announced by the government isn't going to happen anymore because they've had to change their plans because their plans were complete bollocks um, he, our Chancellor at that time, then gets the sack. He becomes the full guy, even though the Prime Minister's probably okayed all what he said. And then there's this he said, he said, she said fiasco where he said, uh, she told me to do this. She said she didn't know anything about it. So she's kind of literally put him in the, in the firing line and threw him to the wolves. And now literally... Within the last kind of half an hour today, we find out that uh, she's resigned. Um, so now we, we again, we are a country with, with with no proper government, with no prime minister, with no no direction, with no one knowing what the fuck's going on. People absolutely in fear that they won't be able to afford to feed themselves, to heat their houses and to just generally live. Because no one knows what the fuck's going on. The only people that are patting their backs over this are the same people whenever these things happen is the rich. The rich just get richer. The rich end up kind of just being absolved from any any of these problems. The big multi-corporations that should be paying tax that don't get away with it. And it falls upon your average working, working person like much like myself and most of you watching this these videos, it falls upon us that we're the ones that get kicked in the bollocks over all this. We're the ones that have to pay extra tax for this and extra tax for that. And we've got to find the extra money for this and we've got to find the extra money for that. So it'll come from us. And I'm just getting fucked off with it all. Um, I didn't vote in the last election for this government anyway. Um, people who did will probably regret doing what they're doing unless again you're in that fortunate position that you've been done a favour by the government as opposed to being done over um so really the, the, the sensible thing now from my point of view is we have to have a general election because the manifesto and the mandates that this government came in with they haven't stuck to any of them they haven't done any of them they've had to backtrack on everything so the reason why people voted them in is it is null and void so you need to you need to sit, let everyone go back and, and put in who they want to put in government but the problem is whoever it is they're going to lie through their back teeth anyway and say they're going to do this and they're going to do that and they fucking won't the issue we've got now or the problem we've got now as as, as, as the voting public is who is fucking credible to vote for 
I mean, the odds on is that the new prime minister is probably going to be Rishi Sunak, who at first, when he first came in and announced all these great things to help people through lockdown and COVID and all this thing to do with furlough, everyone thought he was the fucking hero of the people. And there was only a small minority of people like myself that went, where is all this fucking money going to come from that we're just giving people to sit at home? And it's like, well, we're at, we'll end up paying it back. But no one thought that it was, oh, we want more money. We want more money. We want more money. And so it's going to have to come from somewhere. And I knew it would end up, the buck will stop with the, the, your normal average working people. They're going to have to put this money back in the coffers that they threw away. Four billion fucking pound of fake furlough requests that they're not going to chase companies after they're just going to let them get away with it and then you've still got people sitting at home on their asses that haven't gone back to work that are perfectly able to work there's no reason why they can't work they're just now used to not working because of covid and whatever situation they found themselves in and they've just got no they've got no interest in going back to work they'd sooner sit on their ass and get benefit and then all we keep hearing on, all I keep hearing on fucking TV all the fucking time is, oh, people on benefits need to be given more money. They need to be given more money. They need to be given uh, a, 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 a rise in the benefits that they get in line with inflation. And it's like, no, 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 no. That isn't going to cure a problem. Encouraging people to stay on benefit by giving them more isn't what this country needs at the moment. What this country needs at the moment is people who are able to work and are choosing not to because they'd sooner sit on their asses at home doing fuck all. They should be the ones that we should be saying, no, you've got to get back to work. This country needs to get back on its feet again. And there are jobs out there. There are loads of jobs out there that these people could do. But they're so used to doing fuck all, got no intention of going back to work. So then it puts the pressure on us that are working. And a lot of us work through COVID anyway. And the kick in the bollocks we get for, for carrying on regardless is, well, you, you'll have to pay more income tax so that we can pay these people who don't work. And it's it's just fucking wrong. Um, the Trussell Trust, uh, if you don't know who the Trussell Trust are, um, they're the organisation behind food banks. They're currently saying now they haven't got enough food to keep up with demand of people needing help from food banks. And that the fact is that the biggest demographic of people using food banks at the moment isn't people on benefit, isn't the people that are claiming uh, universal credit and income support. It's working people. It's full time working people are using food banks because they can't fucking afford to feed themselves because it's either, well, either I need electricity, I need gas, I need to put petrol in my car, or I need to eat. And you've got and people are being left with this decision and it's not exaggerating. I know there's plenty of people in this country that I'm all right, Jack. I'm fucking all right. I don't care about how other people are, as long as I'm all right. Well, we've got to get out of this mentality now. We've now got to all look out for each other. Rather than just sit there, well, I'm all right. I'm 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 not gonna get um um I'm not gonna pay any more tax. I'm 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 loaded, I'm minted. All this thing about keeping the rich in this country by offering incentives to stay here by paying less tax and earning more this is kind of this thing this this joke fallacy of trickle down uh economics that that money will trickle down and then it will affect us it never will the rich are only rich for one reason they don't spend their fucking money they, whatever they earn, they keep hold of. They're not going into supermarkets and spending this, that and the other. They're not keeping the economy going. Their money is put probably offshore in banks in other countries. But they just live in this country. So we're paying for people to stay here to put their money somewhere else. While the rest of us are fucking struggling, thinking what are we going to do come the winter? When it's going to be a, a direct choice of our eat high heating bills are going to go through the roof. We're looking down the, the barrel of a gun of possibly if the, the demand goes up even more that we're going to have um, shutdowns between four and seven in the evening where they're going to shut all the power off like they had in the 1970s. 
And then all the while, you've got all these fucking people sitting there. I'm all right, Jack. I'm all right, Jack. Oh, yeah, fucking great for you. Brilliant. Brilliant. You know, let's, let's just fuck everyone over just so that I can earn multi multi billions that I'm never going to fucking spend and stick in the bank. I'm, you know, these, go, these companies that should be paying more tax than they don't because they're giving this incentive to pay less so they stay in this country. But the fact of the matter is these people aren't staying in the country. At the moment, most people are looking across the pond and going to and wanting to go to America because America are one of the few countries that have actually done better financially coming out of COVID. So companies are looking to relocate there. Not here. Brexit's fucked us over as well. You know, all this thing is going to do this, it's going to do that. It hasn't. It hasn't made uh, hasn't made life any better. It's just made, made life far, far more difficult. So we are now going to have a couple of weeks now of this bollocks of them having to vote a new person in, put someone in prime minister who wasn't voted in in the first fucking place. This is the biggest joke of it all, that they're going to put this guy in or woman in and, and they're going to become prime minister. And we haven't even fucking voted for him. Um, so we do need a general election. That's what a democracy is all about. If if your government is failing you and the things they promise to do, they don't do. And then all of a sudden there's a complete change and the people you voted in aren't the people you voted for. Then the only thing is, is to have a general election and see where it goes. But then we're left with that kind of shit situation. Who the fuck do we vote for? Do we put these clowns in again? And, and, and see if they can put everything right that they've got wrong. Do we put Labour in, who just seem to be a watered down version of what we've already got? You know, the leader of the Labour Party, again, is someone from a privileged background, never been a hard working, get your hands dirty kind of person. So can't relate to the working person. And that was the thing. Labour was always the, the, the party for the working people and that people that came through the Labour Party had, had, had normal jobs. And, and kind of understood better where the working classes were coming from. But that don't happen now. You've got this guy, Keir Starmer, again, privileged background, has been in that bubble, doesn't know what it's like to struggle, doesn't know what it's like to make decisions of, do I eat tomorrow or do my kids eat tomorrow? Do I heat my house up? Never had to make any fucking decisions like that because he's come from privilege. And then we've got, the Lib Dems, who I've got to be honest, I can't sit here now and name one Lib Dem politician. I don't even know the, the name of the leader of the Lib Dems. So who the fuck do I vote for when it comes to a general election? I've got no choice, really. None of us have really got a choice unless you're concerned, unless you're considerably well off and in a, in, a, in a privileged position where you're in that higher tax bracket, then it is worth your while voting for the Tories because they're always going to sort you out. They're always going to look after you. The rest of us, the normal working people, the normal honest working people that pay their taxes like they're meant to and work fucking hard and end up with not a lot left at the end of the day and having to kind of scrimp and save. We've got no fucking choice at all, because I don't really honestly believe that Keir Starmer's Labour government are going to look after my best interests and be the best for me. I, I just don't believe it. I just don't see it. I don't. I've, nothing comes out of his mouth that makes me inspire me to vote for him i mean at the moment but really it would be the easiest job in the world to be the leader of the labor party because you just got to sit back and watch a bunch of fucking muppets make fuck up after fuck up and just sit there and let them dig their own graves and he don't he still has to pop out and say stupid things he doesn't have to say anything he could just sit back and let these clowns bury themselves and let the opinion polls put him more and more and more and more popular but no, every now and again, he has to pop up and say something stupid. It's like, no, you don't need to. They're, they're, they're the idiots. They're the ones that are, are, are making themselves unvotable for. You don't have to say anything. Just sit back and let them dig their own grave. So, you know, yeah, we're, we're probably going to be looking at a general election. But who the fuck do we vote for? You know, if you want to make a comment on this on this video on YouTube, put your comments in there. Who, 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 who do we vote for? What do we do to try and change the fortunes around in this country? Because we know that a, a, a large portion of this country don't give a shit about anyone else other than themselves. So they would be quite happy to know that people uh, are going to go cold during the winter. People are going to have to make a decision between whether they eat or their kids eat 
or they heat their houses up. They're quite happy to sit back and let that happen because they don't give a fuck. I'm all right, Jack. I've I've got more money than I really really need. Um, I don't I you know I I I I don't give a shit. I'm in a bubble. I don't care what goes on around me. And that's what's gone wrong in this country over the last couple of years. That people have become too kind of, I'm all right, Jack. Fuck everyone else. It's all about me. What What's in it for me? And we've got to look at the bigger picture here. If we don't all come together and influence whatever government comes in to do the right thing, if we don't come together and all look out for each other, we're just going to have anarchy. We're just going to have everyone just fucking doing everything they want for themselves. And then the people that haven't got a voice are just going to get fucking trampled on. And they're just going to get fucked over again and again and again and again. So we need to come together on this. We need to work together on this. We've got everyone at the moment fucking going on strike. Some people, it's warranted. Some, some, of, the, the, some of the people that are going on strike completely agree with why they're doing it others no it's just fucking greed it's just i want more money to do less work because and i'm doing a shit job so i think i should be paid more money for it and if you don't know who i put in that category and you've not watched any of my other videos the rail workers the rail workers are taking a fucking piss with their going on strike. Oh, our, our work conditions. What? Your work conditions that you run in half the fucking service that you used to run. Your work conditions that most onboard supervisors on any train that I travel on lock themselves away in a little room or lock themselves away in a first class carriage and do fuck all the whole journey. Don't make announcements to people. Don't tell people what's going on. I got on a train the other day that was running that late that they made it run fast and missed out the last eight stations of my journey. And the onboard supervisor didn't bother to get on the tannoy and tell people that that's what was going to happen. So all of a sudden, they get to the last stop it's going to stop at, and then the next eight, it's not going to stop until it gets to the end. So all those people that wanted them stops between where it decided it was going to run fast and the end of the line where I get off, all those people couldn't get off and weren't told they couldn't get off. So it got to the last station and then all of a sudden it gets to the next station and it runs fast straight through it. And everyone's like, what's going on? What's going on? And then a couple of people said, oh, when I was on the platform at the station, they announced that this was going to run fast. No fucker on the train, no onboard supervisor made any announcement that that was going to happen because he can't be asked. You know, he's got so much to do just standing there pressing a fucking button to open the door. And these are the clowns that are saying that their working conditions and that mean that they need a, a, a high, a, 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 a massive, massive pay rise. Fuck off. Do your job properly. Run an efficient transport system. Care about the people that you are entrusted to look after on that journey. And then maybe, maybe you might be worth a pay rise. But not in the state you are now, not when you're running half the service that you used to run, not when during rush hour, when a when a when a train was 12 carriages long, you're sending out a four carriage train and putting people around like cattle fucking crammed together in four carriages when it should be 12. And then having the cheek to go on strike. I completely back if the nurses go on strike, completely back them. They're underpaid for what they do. They, they're not they're not um, uh, highly regarded for what they do. They're not what you know, they don't get enough recognition for what they do. Some of these these nurses save people's lives. These assholes on the rail network are just thinking they're so much more important than what they really are. They seem to think they're like the fifth emergency service because they work through lockdown. Well, fucking so did I. But I don't get the option to keep asking, I want more money, I want more money, even though I'm overpaid for what I do, because I do a shit job very, very badly. It just really winds me up. Uh, coming through today, coming uh, today, there's a, a sorting office near me and the post workers are actually out on a picket line, a proper old fashioned picket line. And it's raining, it's cold, it's windy. And they're all out there with their sign asking if cars drive past, can you beep? for um to show your support and when people are walking past yes 
I support them because their job is getting bigger and bigger and bigger because more people are ordering things to be delivered by mail than they are going to the shop and buying it themselves. So their job's getting bigger, but they're not getting any more money for it. And their working conditions have been longer working hours. Work, you know, they are on strike for a reason that I can get behind. So, yeah, I, I put my thumbs up and said, yeah, well done. These fuckers on the rail network, I've never seen a picket line, never seen them on a picket line at a train station. They just sit at home nice and in the warm, expecting everyone to just follow them. And then you get these uh, one last thing and then I must go because I'm, I'm on here longer than I thought I was going to be. The thing that pisses me off more than anything else at the moment about the strikes are these people that jump on social media treating the rail workers on strike like they're the fucking modern day toll puddle martyrs. No, they're fucking not. Most of them are earning in excess of 30 grand a year for doing a piss poor job and not caring about the fact that they're doing a piss poor job. And these people jump on there. I'm all right. Again, I'm all right, Jack. I don't have to use trains. So it doesn't, their, their, their actions don't bother me. So I'll back them. But the minute the nurses and other people make an announcement that they're going to go on strike, these arseholes jump online and condemn them and say, well, if you don't like the job, leave. Well, why aren't you saying that to the fucking rail workers then? If they don't like their job, they don't like their pay, they don't know their conditions, tell them they can leave. Why are the nurses different to them? That's what really annoys me. You get these sanctimonious assholes on social media giving grief to people like me that have used the trains for years and had to put up with this shit for decades really shit service fares going up year after year after year and no improvement in the service staff that don't give a shit about what they're doing don't give a shit about their com their, their customers the management of the companies don't give a shit about their customers and then these assholes jump on social media don't get affected by it and say oh yeah i'm fully behind them i'm fully behind them why why are you fully behind them because it's a good thing to jump on you know it's this kind of um virtue signaling signaling and it really winds me up i've had too many arguments with people online about this whole bullshit of people jumping to the defense of the rail workers like they're modern day slaves for what they do no they're fucking overpaid for doing a poor job and not caring that they're doing a poor job um anyway i'm gonna leave you because I've, I've gone well over the time i was gonna take i was only gonna do five ten minutes but um anyway we'll see what pans out over the next few days if there's anything else newsworthy that i need to get a rant out i will do i'll, I'll this will this will be going up today uh technology permitting but as I say at the end of all my videos, everyone look out for yourselves. You know, no other fucker's going to do it. So look out for yourselves. Look out for other people. Break the mould. Look out for other people. Stick together on things. Um, stay healthy. Stay well. And uh, I will catch you on another day with another rant. Cheerio, my lovelies.